right behind me here you see all my jokes I had in Sweden that are normally used and they're here now breakfast means coffee some cereal fresh fruit and writing like always it's a really nice day in Brooklyn and New York again it's sunny and uh, it's St. Patrick's Day so it's loads of people out on the streets and it's Friday afternoon uh, I'm I've spent the whole morning writing new stuff and I really have a good feeling I think I'm getting closer and closer to something good I've been a bit sad and kind of that my dream died a bit but now I'm I'm back in believing I'm a comedian from Sweden. <laughs> Thank you. They <laughs> 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 pretty much said what everyone thought. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? What's next? The top hairstylist from Chernobyl? <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm a Swedish comedian. Uh, I've been a comedian for 17 years uh, back home, and I used to get paid to do this. Over here, I'm just happy if it's heat in the club. <laughs> so, things have changed. Um, but you know what it's like when you're a pretty cool guy, <laughs> and then you come to New York and you realize you're not a pretty cool guy? That's where I'm at right now, you know? So I'm, I'm from Sweden, and uh, really, really way up north. Uh, have you seen Game of Thrones? Yeah, yeah cool. you know that big fucking wall? <laughs> <laughs> you pass that, <laughs> keep on going for a couple of weeks, and when you see Santa Claus, keep on walking, we're further up north. Morton! <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, two gigs done so far this Friday night, Already. and uh, I'm, as you can see, I'm really happy. Uh, I made a lot of people laugh, so uh, I really have my self-confidence back. And not only that, uh, at the mic, um, I bumped into a friend that's played Raw in Stockholm, Sweden, yeah. Mr. Tamer Katan. <laughs> hey, Sveria. <laughs> so we're hanging out. Uh, we're on our way to another club where our another, another friend, Janis Papos. Barbershop, uh, I go there all the time. Yeah, barbershop. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe you get like, in this mic, maybe you pay five bucks you get a haircut as well the <laughs> best deal ever no but it's so much fun uh, this was the first mic for me where I actually felt like me a little bit like me he did a great job this this right here is a typical comedian we are too hard on ourselves he had a great set he stole the show He was actually one of the best comics obviously like uh, you've been doing comedy a long time and the, like the guys that were up there were green compared to you you, you stood yeah. out like in a, in a huge way. That's the difference between New York comedy and Sweden. It's not that it's better, it's that there's just so many more people. Yeah. Sometimes more people makes you better, but sometimes more people makes it harder for you to get seen. New York just takes longer than Sweden does. But you killed, you had a great set. Thank you, my friend. Sure. Never, but, Vasu but, good. But, 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 <laughs> Vasu good. I love your Swedish. Do you like my Schwarzkala dialect? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where did you learn this? From Jotemori, Jotemori yeah. and all my, all my racist friends from Boros. <laughs> yeah, this is a show in the East Village every Friday called Live at the Barbershop. We do it in an actual barbershop. Um, yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Is that, that, is that kind of common? Because I've heard no. there's, one in, uh, there's one in LA as well, right? Yeah, they're, they're in LA, but they're not, they're not real comedians out there. No, I, <laughs> no, I, we heard, I just heard the other day that they have LA barbershop shows, but this, this is the one, you know, this is the one. And how did you come up? This is your club? No, so we know the owner because a friend of mine got got a haircut here and he was like we're doing like we're doing a show here because the room is like such a fun room but is it a back room or is it actually in the like it's literally this is it like it's it's where they cut the, we take out the barber's chairs and we there's a stage already let's do it let's do it so sweet and strong okay hey how are you so this is the owner of the shop right here all right cool this is morton 
Greg. Nice to be here. This hey, is uh, this is our camera guy, Johnny K. We'll set up cams for the show. Hey, I'm here. It's the room. We we dim the lights. Comedians go up there. And uh, oh, nice. I love this. This is so cool. Martin Anderson. Thank you. Are you actually Swedish? Yeah? Yeah. Bra. Bra. <laughs> We're taking over, motherfuckers. <laughs> Just walk past something we don't have in Sweden. <laughs> this guy right here. Oh, all right. Sure. Here you go. <laughs> Looking good. This town is... It's something else. It's something else. I've been living here for three weeks now, but I've not seen this one until now. I like that one. United States of Immigrants. That's right, Trump. United States of Immigrants built this country and will keep on building this country, no matter if you like it or not, Mr. President. At seven degrees, and a slight feeling of spring in New York and apparently it's gonna be something like 15 and 19 degrees the next upcoming days so that'll be amazing finally some proper spring here in New York unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to enjoy the Sun today because I've got a seminar three hours inside good planning but then again I'm here to do comedy not to get brown so let's do it I think the hardest part for me is that it feels like I'm constantly on borrowed time because the tempo, the rhythm here is so much faster than what I'm used to. I mean, in Sweden, you can stop someone on the street and go, hey, how are you? Try to do that in New York. People will just stare at you, go like, what, 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 what do you want? What, do you, what are you after? Like, um, so I just feel like bore people. Yeah, I feel like now. <laughs> this is like everyday life for me now. It's just like people just staring at me. It's not even people looking at me, it's staring. It's just people go, like, I'm some sort of a kind of a Picasso painting they're trying to understand. But like, oh. <laughs> they don't get it. And uh, I mean, I'm getting used to bomb on stage. But I'm not getting used to bomb as a human. <laughs> Thank you. I don't really have a big ending. <laughs> I feel like Eminem in Eight Mile, but just I don't make it in the end. <laughs> It's almost like what I said to Sam, the realer you got, the funnier you were. And it was just, it was brilliant. That was brilliant. I'm okay. so happy with what you just did. Thank you. Um, the first really big laugh you got was, believe it or not, back in Sweden, I'm actually a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I love that. Because you could tell that we're looking at you some other way, right? Yeah. Or you perceive that we are, whether we are or not, you perceive that we are. Great class today. Uh, one of the many things uh, I liked about it was the fact that we had five minutes each to go up and improvise and uh, That felt really good. That's not the way I've been writing material uh, before To just go up with a blank sheet and talk about one subject and Not getting nervous. Of course. I was a little bit nervous 